Hi everyone, this is Diane. I'm back. I thought that since I've taken you this far with me as I did the pages for this journal, I might as well bring you for this part as I make the cover. This is the cover I'm using. I've already taken um, a baby wipe and wiped it off to get the surface dirt off it, but you can tell it's a vintage book. But the spine is in good shape. So I am leaving the spine, I think, yeah, and I'm just going to reinforce it. So I have taken a piece of cardboard, chipboard, and I'm just going to glue it in there. I cut it one and a half inches, but it was still a little snug, so I just kind of shaved off a bit with my scissors, and I'm going to glue that in there. I use my fabri glue for this. I normally make my um, spines about two inches, but I think these are fine. I left um, the journal for my sister, I left that spine intact also. And now I'm going to just give it a little extra reinforcement by cutting some Tyvek. Tyvek, as I've said in other videos, is um, plastic. Um, the post office uses it as envelopes. It's used for some things in construction. Uh, you can buy envelopes at office supply stores and I think you can even find them at Walmart now. So I just um, have some envelopes that I cut down and use them just to reinforce. There will be fabric on this so I don't think that I really need the reinforcement but I always put it on. I am not going to cover these end papers with my sister's book. It was just plain, so I put these papers on. And these are actually, this is a piece of linen that I have in my collection. And I just made a copy of it and glued it on. And then I made this pocket out of a piece of patchwork that my mother had pieced, a log cabin and never did anything with and since this is from my sister I thought she'd like to have a piece of that in here but this is too beautiful to cover so I will not be covering it I wonder if I made this wide enough I think it's okay I was trying not to go too wide so that I didn't cover up too much of this because I still have to put fabric over it that goes just a little bit beyond the Tyvek. But I probably should have made it a little bit wider. But since it's not actually going to be holding the book together like the front to the back, I think it'll be alright. So I'm just putting some of my red tape on it. This is really super strong tape. You can find it in craft stores. Um, it, I get it, you know, different brands of it, whatever, depending on the store I'm in. And I get the quarter inch. It comes in half inch and eighth inch, and I think it even comes wider than half inch. But I usually just get the quarter inch. started raining in the afternoon. So 
Rainy days always make me, I love rainy days, but makes my, makes me itch. I think it, you know, especially like during a holiday, during a, not holiday, during a pollen season, allergy season, like spring. I think it brings the pollen down, like keeps the pollen from floating up. I don't know. I would have thought that rainy days would help with pollen, but it doesn't. It makes it worse. So you can see that there. So I'm a little bit itchy. And I cut this piece of fabric to cover that. And then to cover the raw edges, I will glue a little bit of um, some trim. Cut that fabric just a little bit too short. I'm going to have to put something at the top and the bottom there too. <clears throat> I was going to just use this woven trim down the side, but I think I'm going to put it at the top and the bottom and then use something different on the sides. I was pulling a thread, but it's going to unravel the whole thing. Make sure that gets glued down so it doesn't unravel. something to go down the sides. like it to be something like this narrow trim, but I think this is too white for what we've got going on here. I have this cream colored one, but it's wider.
when it's ready to dry when it's dry it will be ready to have the signatures sewn in while we're here I have some pages that I had saved out of the, the, the daughter of Anderson Crow book I don't have any of the inner pages for Palace Beautiful, just these flyleaf pages. But there was at least one that I thought I might be able to make something with to put in the book. That's what I do with it. Well, there's that. There's a color illustration. I think there was another one. But I might find it when I clean up my mess here. Well, okay. And I thought I had another page that was like this, only with a better picture on it. And I thought I had a better picture of a lady, not just this one. Well see what I can do with this. This is a little recipe card that came out of a gift in a jar book. So it has a recipe on the back that I'm going to cover because it's not even a complete recipe because you have to have the jar of flour and whatever. <clears throat> so I'm going to put her on here and I'm going to cover the back. No, I'm going to put her on here and then this can be written on. That's what I'm going to do. flowers from the kit and a butterfly I don't know how I do it but I'm gonna ink her a little bit I don't need the butterfly.
So this will just go in one of the packets of Annette's book. Well now, I'm going to clean up my space. Friday afternoon, I'm cleaning up my space. I like that. I don't have to do it on the weekend. She just wants to have some ribbon tied around her journal. She didn't want the hitch post on hers. Hitch fastener. So I just have two kinds of ribbon here and I might I'll glue something down on the spine, some lace, and I might glue this underneath so these won't get lost. They'll just be attached. That's how it will look. It'll have some lace here and oh sorry, it'll have lace down here of some sort. We had planned on putting this down the spine, but she wants a dangle, and I didn't want this to be competing with it, so I'll just put a flat lace on it. And it worked out well because I needed something to cover. There was a title and the author's name right down here, and I needed something to cover that. So I just put some pretty paper on the back of it, and then this I trimmed around the tool and glued that down. So I'll put a flat lace here and a charm there. So I guess that's it for today. I'm just going to clean up. And uh, I'll probably wait till at least Monday to put this in my shop. Um, give my customer a chance to see my message because she lives on the other side of the world. <laughs> So I'll give her a chance to see the message, but I don't want to wait too long. So it'll be Monday or Tuesday before I show this in its completion and ready to go in my shop. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It was fun crafting with you all day today, and I will be seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.